I think the um, the thing that so impressed me first about Misha and always uh, for the ten years that I must have seen him now dance is that um, the excitement. He's a very exciting personality and dancer. His um, technique is incredible. He just takes off and gets into the air. And he uses the air just like most of us use the earth. And when he gets in the air, he'll do the most exciting things. Um, steps that I, I don't know what they're called even. It's fantastic what he does with his body up in the air. And I always think of him in the air. In my mind, I have a picture of him in the air, doing extraordinary things. But that's only um, one side, which you see in Corsair. You'll see that all the time. The other side of him is um, the melancholy side, which I see very much um, in his personality, just normally when you're talking to him. His face, it's a sad face. However happy he's trying to be, there's a sadness underneath him. I, I've always found this. <laughs> That's fabulous, like that. That's good looking right here. Great, like that. In the dance world and beyond, Misha is a superstar, captured by, but also employing, the publicity machine that keeps him and his company in the limelight. That's great, like that. Looking right in the camera. In September 1980, Misha began a second career as the artistic director of the American Ballet Theatre in New York. He's now responsible for running one of the largest and leading ballet companies in the world. Since joining ABT, Misha has assumed the responsibility of coaching his younger colleagues. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, because the first was overturned, you see, and you took ready. If you'll keep, you see what's happening. It's have to be here. When the minute you're overturned, you're off balance. Don't you think, Michael, I, I feel like he's uh, not brushing enough. Bam! He, Mr. B always asks, like you're playing football, just uh-huh. Um, also, pom, 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 sutanyu. A little faster. Misha is working with Peter Fonseca and Cheryl Yeager on a section of a ballet by the great choreographer George Balanchine, a work Misha has himself danced many times. A little more jazzy. So. All right, let's do a dash, eh? The, the, the people asked me to run this place because they thought I can... Uh, deliver uh, the quality of the performances. Uh, I can work with dancers. And uh, they thought uh, I'll be a useful person. Put her in nice fourth position. This company is the company of very, very young dancers. Probably the youngest dancers which I ever seen in, in any company around. And they love this job and they are dancing from 10 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock at night. Take your time now. And Six, when we are performing in the evening, they're dancing from 10 o'clock to 11. 13 hours through, this one hour break. In this position. I, I, you are cutting in front, you see? She have to change from this. Yes, Michael? Yeah. Like that. That's what have to be. And then... And then we go to the finger. And when she does last period, don't do this. You know? Otherwise, it's just like you know, <laughs> just keep it, keep it together, all fingers. You know. <laughs> and then suddenly, when she do period, suddenly. Ah! <laughs> She's just the and you, you will feel much more comfortable in this. Oh, yeah. You see. And nice, nice. That's right.
ABT is a touring company. In addition to their annual season in New York, all 90 dancers spend 18 weeks on the road each year, juggling a repertoire of 36 ballets, adjusting to new hotel rooms, new audiences, new stage conditions, and all that in 11 American cities. The dancers are likely to put in five or six hours of rehearsal, even on a day of performance. Sometimes they find the energy to celebrate afterward. Keeping 90 dancers happy and motivated is also part of Misha's job. When Bereshnikov started his directorship the beginning of last year, that was the starting of my first full year with ABT. And I was very leery that he was going to be able to be a director, a dancer, a choreographer. I thought maybe he was going to start making costumes and doing the makeup also. And uh, I found later that in rehearsals for full ballets, he was fabulous. He got things done right away. Uh, he knew exactly what he wanted, and he kept up his dancing. Uh, and when he's in a rehearsal, people pay attention, and things get done automatically. And you need that, because there's such little time for rehearsals. We have such a huge repertoire that you don't have enough time to rehearse everything fully. Whether they're trained in Russia or America, all dancers share the same rituals and routines. But the means to achieve success may differ widely. During his early years as a dancer in Russia, Misha had a state scholarship. His living expenses were paid. The system looked after him. The American dancers are much more independent, aggressive, because they are coming from the all provinces from east coast west coast uh, from little studios and trying to get a job in the best ballet theaters and uh, at the age of 15 they're on their own in new york alone with no family just a hi mom once in a while and uh, if he has money to call uh, long distance or have a guts to call collect and uh, they have no babysitters, you know, like in Russia. Nobody's uh, spending uh, uh, hours and days and months and years to educate them. And they have to pay for these classes. And when you pay, you learn fast, I'll tell you. Some of ABT's dancers pay to work out at a gym. You have a chance to work on strengthening just independent muscle areas. It's so important to have your body working in alignment. And you work on independent muscle patterns. You kind of train their memory better so that when you go and you stand up in the ballet class, they remember better how to work correctly. These exercises really help perfect a lot of the things that I do when I dance, and that's why I do them. I could take class every day and become fairly well accomplished in my art, but I wouldn't feel so strong as I do with these. This is a, the frosting on the cake, I guess.
first time. It's a little bit different, so listen. Okay. ABT has made its reputation as a company with a strong classical and contemporary repertoire. Since taking over, Mishi is continuing to commission more new works. He does not normally choreograph himself. Look, it's very important. I don't think about myself uh, as a choreographer. I don't think uh, uh, I have, I would say, obvious talent to, uh, to choreograph ballets. For me, music is very physical and just I can close my eyes and, and just to be with music. But not, I'm not trying to imagine dancers moving. It just doesn't so work. One, two, three, four, five, six, lift the girls up on one, two, three, four, five, six, lift the boys. I really convinced the choreography, it is the form of art which you have to be born with. Before I left Russia, I knew a lot of people who was roommates and classmates with uh, uh, George Balanchine. Uh, and they're saying me in Russian, you know, like, Georgi Balanchivadze was always, I remember him, I mean, the tiny little boy, he was playing piano all the time with the hair like that, playing piano and saying, I would do a dance like that, I would do a dance like that, you know, on this music. It was his uh, desire since he was uh, uh, very, very, in, the, in his, from his, his choreographing from his teens, you know. Uh, you have to want to, uh, to choreograph more than anything else in the, uh, 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 in the world. Then, and plus have obvious, obvious talent. I, I don't have any, dis I have a desire, a big desire to choreograph, but uh, 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 I'm always stopping myself because um, I can't, simply as that. 